And Cole, thank you for visiting with me today. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, about ready to start from Panama down here in Puerto Rico. So I just got here and... Giving in Puerto Rico, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, first of all, man, this, this movie just blew me away. Um, thank you. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. I, I went in kind of blind on purpose. Uh, and it just just grabbed my heart from the get-go. And, and it's such a phenomenal part for you. And, and there is such an act that I, an arc that I think care, actors just live for. I mean, what was it about his journey that, that mo most specifically spoke to you? I think just being able to start the character kind of in the ashes of, of life, you know, and be able to somehow you know, methodically with Glenn, the director, build him back up in his confidence and being able to take him from a guy who can barely look at someone in the eye and barely speak um, to ultimately taking this wonderful young man and coaching him not only physically, but, but mentally to the state title. Um, it's just such a transitional and there's so many colors, you know, in woven in between it, you know, uh, of emotion and addiction and faith and family and love and and then ultimately redemption. So it, it was um, something that when I read it, I put it down and I said, I was actually flying from Vancouver uh, from doing a TV show called Rogue into LA. And I got off the plane and called my agent. I said, where is this guy? You know, where's Glenn at? He said, oh, he's in Burbank. I said, okay, well, I'll, you tell him I'm taking the car service right <laughs> to him. And I went in, we sat and talked for an hour and a half. I gave him my reasons of wanting to do it. He said, the role is yours, Cole. Wow. I was like, so, yeah, it was just, uh, this This is one of those those movies that I was meant to do, you know, um, and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I found it. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, there's a whole lot of fate at work with this thing, um, top and bottom, because I think everybody who got involved with this story was meant to be there as well. Um, the cast is great, too. I mean, yeah. I just, I, I watched this movie and, Sometimes I guess it's a, you know, it's a compliment to Glenn and to, to him as a storyteller, but um, I forgot I was even in it. I was watching because it it's just so natural, you know? And I thought, wow, you know, Bob McCracken's great, you know, plays the priest. Yeah. Girlfriend in it, you know, Casey, uh, who plays the bad guy, you know, Sean. I mean, it, it's just Randall Battenkopf, who I did school ties with a hundred years ago. You know, it's just, uh, it's, it's a good film. And, you know, one thing I, I like a lot about sports movies is more often than not, it, it's just a metaphor for, for a whole lot of other things. Um, what, what do you think it is about sports movies that resonates with audiences? Or did I just answer my own question? <laughs> <laughs> I think you kind of did. But, you know, for me personally, I, I'm such a, I can see you're obviously a Charger fan. So I'm, I'm, I'm a huge football fan. I'm a huge sports fan, you know, and to be able to have that as the backdrop and the coaching aspect of it, which I really loved, you know, and I loved John as a coach in the sense that he's not somebody that tears you down, he's somebody that takes you and builds you up and, and gives you confidence, which I've always loved in coaches. They're not have always been that way with me, but, but when I was playing sports, you know, I had a couple that were great coaches that way. Um, so I wanted to portray that. Um, but I don't know, my, my favorite, sports film of all time and i don't know if you've seen it but is uh everybody's all american oh um, my god yeah like that to me is like the greatest film because you really get to see this guy who's kind of like john wright i mean he's on this fast track to being this the next great thing and he gets to the nfl and gets his butt whipped and realizes wait a minute yeah i was great in college but this is a whole nother level you know um and that pressure of being able to keep, you know, um, that kind of spot, you know, where you believe that you should be. I mean, it's the same thing with John. He got to the Olympics, you know, and he cheated because he needed that extra push, you know, and, and steroids. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with it, man. I got to be honest, I hope people see it this holiday season. I think it's just one of those films that you can watch with the family, you know, it deals with a lot of things that I think right now, 
we need to talk about, you know, within our communities, you know, and taking each other, you know, reaching out and helping people versus, you know, being divisive and, and, and drawing lines in sand is somebody's hurting, help them out. Yeah. Well, it's that more. And it's, it's the Thanksgiving Christmas 2020 period movie we, we need right now. Uh, well, Cole, hey, true pleasure. Loved your work for years and years. This has been an honor. All the best to you. I look forward to doing it again. Happy holidays. All right. You too. Take care.